Hey drivers, this is Andrew at Third Coast RC in Houston and uh, we're going to do another car review today and today we're going to be talking about this vehicle um, very cool um, team associated SR10E with this like real cool kind of like Monte Carlo body that it comes with um, this is a two wheel drive vehicle but it's real nice this one comes, this was the ready to run version so it comes with everything yeah comes with the lipo battery and charger included um, but uh, you know and it's you can see the price here on the box it's about four hundred dollars you can get just the vehicle without the battery and the charger for about three fifty uh, it, it's it's out there but this is like you know it's meant to run on the dirt it's meant to be like an oval dirt racer uh, and it comes with this comes with this cool body and um, we can see here some of the other features it has um, it does come with the uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio, but it has the DVC, the dynamic vehicle control, basically a gyro in the car to help you a little bit with the steering and the braking on this vehicle because it is rear wheel drive only. Um, it comes with a high torque uh, servo, it's got the cool street stock body, it's got the wheels, and the wheels come the rear wheels just like on, on a real dirt car, kind of wider at the rear. A little bit narrower at, uh, at, at the front um, you know we'll see how they perform in a minute um, it's got uh, metric hardware throughout R ball bearings rubber seal ball bearings um, it's got a big boy big ball coil over shocks um, it's got a slipper clutch so you can adjust the slipper on the uh, on the on the spur gear to give you a little bit uh, more slippage or tighten it all the way up to have you know real all wheel uh, rear wheel drive constantly all the tra all the time fully adjustable suspension and there's lots of hop up starting to become available for this uh, for this vehicle now so here it is it does come with this pre-painted pre-decaled um, white body shell I believe it's the only color that it comes in but I think you can get a clear body and paint it yourself if you want to do something something different so here's the vehicle it's a bit dusty because we have been running it um, it's got like I say the first thing you see is that it's rear wheel drive with the uh, with the slipper clutch in here that you can adjust by popping off this little uh, grommet here this rubber cover here to get in and adjust the slipper clutch um, it comes with the brushless motor so it is a brushless system uh, in it um, I can't remember how many kV it is 33 3300 kV my uh, cameraman tells me there, 3300 kV. It's got, um, it's got the uh, aluminum body shocks, but it does come with spacers. It doesn't have threaded shock bodies, so that's uh, that that is something that you might want to consider in upgrading in the future, front and rear. It comes with a pretty good servo. I mean, this is mainly running for on the dirt, running on the dirt and or, or on the street perhaps, and uh, it. Uh, the, the servo is uh, is more than adequate for that. It comes with the Reedy ESC. You can run nickel metal hydride, uh, 2S LiPo or 3S LiPo using the, using this uh, on this vehicle. The uh, the radio receiver is all sealed in this uh, nice little waterproof box here with the with the antenna uh, coming out. And uh, as you can see. It's, uh, there's no front drive shafts, it's rear wheel drive only. It's got the narrower wheels in the front and the wider, you know, 50% wider wheels in the back. They're kind of a nice looking wheel, just matte black, which works well with the, with the white body. And you can see they're fully ball raced. There's no, there's no resistance here to the, uh, apart from this pine needle, uh, no resistance hardly at all. They spin for a long time, so you know, it's well, it's, I, I like this car, it's real nice, you know, if you're looking for something a little bit different, perhaps there's a racing league in your area, this should be a real good car to run in like a stock racing class where everybody runs the same car, um, exactly the same specification, the only thing you can change perhaps is the battery, uh, and um, yeah, it'd be a real, real good for that kind of racing, even if you do it in a parking lot, it doesn't have to be uh, on the dirt. So what we're going to do is going to throw the body on here, and uh, well, let me just talk about the radio. It does come with this uh, with the radio. It's, it's a relatively basic radio. Feels okay. A nice little foam pad on the wheel here. Kind of cool little disc brake in here, like a lot of them come with. Um, 
It's got adjustments for throttle and steering, dual rate and trim, um, but, but, but nothing else. Um, the gyro, when you run it, I think it does help. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of gyros in a car, but I think it does it does help to 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 a certain extent. There's some small adjustability in it, but uh, it it works pretty well. Um, the body is a real cool thing. Everybody loves this body. We'll throw the body on here. Tell you what, before we throw it all the way on, I'm going to turn the vehicle on, turn the radio on. On. We're going to run it on a 3S when we test it here. We've got a 3S battery here. Ready to go. Put the four little body pins in here. Hi. Hey ma'am, how can we help you? Okay, so we're good to go. Uh, we just had a small interruption there with the customer coming to buy a car from us, so that's awesome. Um, but we're going to run this now. Um, it's all turned on. We'll uh, put it on the ground. It's on 3S. So immediately you can feel with it being a two-wheel drive car that the rear wheels on this particular surface are going to, you know, they're losing traction there. But that's kind of cool in itself. You can really get the rear end of the car to slide, but you can see the gyro trying to co correct a little bit. When you're driving a two-wheel drive car, the trick is, is when you're slowing down, you've got to be real progressive with the braking. You can't just peg it all the way to full brake, otherwise the rear end is just going to come round on you like that, and you're going to lose control, yeah? Same with the acceleration, you've just got to be progressive with it. Squeeze the throttle and squeeze the brake. Don't just peg it straight on there, and the car will handle a lot better. Going around corners, the car's got a lot of grip. This little uh, stock car's got a lot of grip going around the corners. It doesn't try and come around on you, only if you really, really push it. It looks awesome as it goes around the corners there. Just doing figure of eights here. If you're on the dirt and it was throwing up small rooster tails and clouds of dirt behind it, it'd look, it'd look even better. We'll give it a speed run down the parking lot now. But well, we already gunned this truck and what did we get? Uh, I think 31, maybe 30. Yeah, just about 30, just, just about 30 miles, just over 30 miles an hour. So we'll come back now. Full speed, that's full speed there right now. And you've got to be a little bit progressive with the braking to try and stop that rear wheels locking up. And it doesn't uh, come around on you. Handles great though, around this corner here. There it goes, full speed, avoid that puddle. Around the drain, back to the right again. Turn the power on a little bit, it's really leaning, it doesn't want to turn over on us. It's not trying to flip, you know, it doesn't traction roll. They did a good job with picking a good tyre combination to work with this power system. It is a real fun car to drive. Lots of fun. You see it lifted the front wheel there. I think the gyro does help with some of these uh, tight manoeuvres, but it also induces, especially on the straight, if you're just trying to correct a little bit, it'll do like a little wobble, but maybe the gain's a little bit too high on it. I'm just going to adjust that. We saw it do it there, just a little wobble. It doesn't really try and take over the driving from you. It's not going to fix you being a bad driver. Let me tell you that. You know, you need a practice to, uh, to become a good driver, even in a real car or an RC car. One more time down the parking lot. We'll go all the way to the end. Progressive on the brakes. Round we come. Full speed coming back here. I'm flat out there now. You can see the gyro just wiggling, trying to keep it straight there. It's a lot of fun, you know, and I found dirt, it's even, uh, it's even more fun than what, what we see here. Unfortunately, we don't have any dirt here at our shop. Um, the body looks great. It's got a real cool look to it. We'll get out the sun. It's got a real cool look to it there. 
Um, the body is fairly durable. If you have too many front ends, you might start to crack it, like what we've got going on here. This is from it bouncing and dragging a little bit. You might want to line the inside of the body with duct tape or even use like sheetrock tape or something inside it to protect it. Um, but, you know, for, for the price, it's a, uh, it's a pretty good deal and it's a lot of fun. It might not be for everybody, it's not your 60, 70 mile an hour speed demon, but it is the hobby for me is about what you get out of it, yeah? And sometimes going hell for leather 70 miles an hour down a parking lot in a straight line is not what people want to do, yeah? They want to have fun with their vehicles. If you're just looking for a vehicle that you can just throw on the ground and have fun with, and you know, it will do a little bit of off road, a little bit in the dirt, things like that. It's not like a temp scale sedan car which is really just not going to handle at all in the dirt this one's going to be okay and that like on a sports field or a running track places like that it's going to it's going to handle great so this might be the car for you i mean i can't fault it it's really good it's pretty good value um, you know the price is a little bit higher for, for a two-wheel drive but you do get this really cool body you know i bet this body if you go out and try and buy it i don't know how much they are but i bet this replacement body is probably 70 bucks um, it's a real nice looking car and it's got those classic lines to it. It, it, it. It's great. Go out and buy one if this is what you want to do. It's a lot of fun. So thank you for watching. Check us out on Instagram and on Facebook, Third Coast RC. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.